You should never buy a car in the hope that you'll make money on it. The key is to buy what you like and if it rises in value to offset the running costs, well that's just a bonus. It won't have escaped your attention that values of most classic cars have shot up over the past few years, but there are some that the market has either overlooked, or have the potential to rise significantly further. If you want to join us in the crystal ball gazing, tell us what you'd have added to the list, we're sure there are more classics out there that deserve a higher profile. We include guide pricing for both the US and the UK, and there are market differences, mostly due to how many of a particular model were sold in a market. We start with the cheapest and work our way up. Alfa Romeo Milano Verde 19,871,989 The Milano known as the 75 outside of America was the last Alfa Romeo designed before Fiat adopted the brand and neutered it. Every US spec Milano came with a V6, but the Verde model turned the performance dial up a notch with a 3.0 liter that sounded better than Pavarotti. It was quick, and it offered a near-perfect weight distribution thanks to a transaxle. Less than 1,000 Milano Verdes were imported to the US, and good ones are increasingly difficult to come by. Plan on spending about $5,000 if you want to drive your car home rather than tow it. The 75 3.0 V6 is also rare in the UK, where prices start at about £10,000. The renewed interest in Alfa Romeo following the successful launch of the Giulia and the Stelvio ensures the Verde is a hit in the making. Audi TT MK1, 19,982,006 Even non-enthusiasts gravitate towards the original Audi TT. The more affordable variants DIDNT pack a lot of power but they DIDNT need to. It was the kind of head-turning car Audi could sell on looks alone, especially when fitted with the optional and now rare baseball glove leather upholstery. Well-preserved ones without an intergalactic figure on the odometer start at $5,000, or £2,000 in the UK. BMW E24 6 Series 19,761,989 Stylish and very usable, the original 6 Series came with a selection of six-cylinder engines. Brilliant to drive, superbly built and capable of swallowing vast distances, it's only the 635 CSI editions that are especially desirable, with the Ultra Rare M edition already worth a big premium. From $8,000 and £10,000. Mazda RX-8 20,032,012 The Mazda RX-8 is the type of coupe enthusiasts lust after when it's new and sell as soon as an even newer model comes out. However, Mazda threw a spanner in the depreciation machine by announcing it HASNT even started developing its next rotary engined RX badged coupe in 2012. Executives admit it could be years before we see an RX-9, and there's a good chance it will arrive with advanced driving aids and some form of electrification. The RX-8 has neither, so it's the last of a breed. Prices start at $5,000, or £1,200 in the UK. If you're in England, you could buy 15 RX-8s for the price of a brand new Mazda MX-5 Miata. Jaguar XK8 19,962,006 The aluminium XK that came in 2006 is a better car than the XK8 thanks to its superior cabin and a sharper driving experience but it's also still depreciating whereas the XK8 has hit rock bottom and is starting to climb again. The supercharged XKR is what everyone wants, especially in convertible form, but any car that's in good condition with plenty of service. History will prove a good buy. From $8,000 and £5,000. BMW M3 E46 20,000,000 2006 It's a guaranteed cycle. M3 goes out of production, values go down to the point where the cars get ragged because they're worthless, everybody realizes few good cars are left, values increase. We're on the cusp of stage 3 act now before stage 4 hits. From $8,000 and £7,000. Mercedes-Benz SLR 129 19,892,002 The R129 SL is another one of those cars that's already started to climb and we could all see it coming because that's exactly what its predecessors did. First the W113 Pagoda went ballistic then the R107 followed. Superb R129s have already doubled in value over the past two years, but they've still got further to go. Decent examples from $10,000 and £8,000. Alfa Romeo Spider 19,661,982 While its predecessor the Giulia and Giulietta have started to be worth plenty, the Spider that celebrated its half-centenary last year is much more affordable. 
duettos already fetch a premium but the later cam-tailed cars are much more attainable. Prices are from $10,000 and £8,000. Porsche Boxster 986 Series, 19,962,004 The original Boxster is a slap in the face to anyone who claims there's no such thing as an inexpensive Porsche. Loosely inspired by the 550 Spider, the Boxster almost single-handedly saved the brand from bankruptcy by giving buyers a cheaper alternative to the 911. That's still the case today, and it remains the most affordable way to own a Porsche with a flat six engine. Pricing starts at approximately $10,000, while cars in the UK start at about £4,000. It's worth paying extra to get a well-maintained car whose IMS bearing issue has been fixed by a professional. Don't wait too long a look at current 914 values suggest the Boxster won't stay cheap forever. BMW M Roadster 19,982,002 While the regular Z3 was a bit disappointing, by the time BMW had come up with an M edition things were a lot more appealing. The suspension was overhauled, an E36 M3 3.2-liter straight-six engine was slotted into the nose and the bodywork looked a lot more purposeful. Low production volumes have ensured this is a car that's already on the rise. From $10,000 and £12,000. Jaguar XJS 19,751,996 The XJS was never meant to replace the Air type, but a lot of people didnt get that comparisons were made and the XJS was always going to come second best. Now that the XJS's 40th birthday has come and gone the market has latched onto the fact that actually this is a very desirable Grand Tourer, in coupe a convertible form with straight 6 of E12 power. Decent ones are from $10,000 and £5,000. Honda Acura Integra Type R 19,962,000 Many reckon the DC2 Integra Type R to be the finest handling front-wheel drive car ever made. Fitted with a 1.8-litre VTEC engine that'll rev to almost 9,000 revolutions per minute, the Integra weighed just 1,080 kilograms 2,376 pounds thanks to being put on a strict diet. Few good cars are left as most have been abused and or modified, but there are superb examples waiting to be found. From $10,000 and £6,000. Porsche 968-1992-1995 While the 968's low spot might not be as low as some of its rivals, it appears to have hit it and values are starting to climb, gradually. At some point that rate of increase is likely to increase though, which is why we'd suggest you get ahead of the curve. The club sport is the obvious one to go for, but any unmolested 968 is worth a look. Prices from $12,000 and £12,000. Honda S2019,992,009. Honda didnt hold back when it developed a two-seater VTEC-powered roadster to mark its 50th birthday. It was so thorough with the S2000's development that the car wasnt ready in time and it was unveiled a year late, which only made it all the more worth waiting for. With 237 bhp it tilled a 150 miles per hour and 060 mph in just 6.1 seconds, but too many have been crashed or badly modified. Respectable examples from $12,000 and £7,000. Lotus Elan M119,891,994 It took a long time for the original Elan's values to catch up with what it was really worth, and it was a landmark car. In some ways this front-wheel drive edition is an automotive high point too, and while it'll never reach the dizzy heights of the 60s model, we reckon the Elan M100 is a safe long-term bet. From $12,000 and £10,000. Mercedes-Benz SLK 32 AMG 20 million 12,004 Mercedes built well over 300,000 examples of the original SLK, but only a few of the 354 bhp supercharged V6 AMG model were made. As the Halo model, this is the variation on the theme that'll become sought after. From $13,000 and £12,000. Ford SVT Lightning 19,992,001 While most pickup trucks rely on powerful engines to tow a haul, the Ford SVT Lightning summoned its generous displacement to go fast. Starting with an F-150, Ford's special vehicle team SVT made suspension tweaks to improve handling and dropped a supercharged 360 horsepower 5.4 liter V8 in the engine bay. The second-generation Lightning instantly became the Mustang of the truck segment. Production stopped in 2004.
The F-150 Raptor occupies its spot in the Ford lineup today, but it's a completely different beast that puts an emphasis on off-roading rather than drag racing. The Lightning already has a cult following in America, so $15,000 is likely as affordable as it's going to get. Extremely rare in the UK, a fact which may appreciate future values. Datsun 240Z 19,691,974 For a car that first appeared almost half a century ago you'd think the 240Z might be worth more than it is. After all, this is the car that for most people launched the Z car revolution, yet values remain resolutely affordable. Too many ZS Atati are modified but if you encounter a good, original and rust-free car snap it up it surely can never be worth less than it is now from $15,000 and £15,000. Triumph Stag 19,701,977 nicknamed the Snag in period and saddled with an appalling reputation for unreliability, fewer than 26,000 Stags were built during a seven-year production run. Glitches can now be ironed out and for the, the price of a city car you could have a V8-powered four-seater convertible that's dependable and we feel sure is bound to increase in value. From $15,000 and £8,000, US cars getting a premium due to rarity. Mazda RX-7 MK3 19,922,002 The first two generations of RX-7 were nice enough but for the third take Mazda got serious with a 252 bhp twin-turbo model that could do 060 mph in 5.4 seconds on its way to a 153 mph top speed. As good to drive as it is to look at, few unmolested RX-7S remain, but if you can find one snap it up, as the market has yet to latch onto this one. Prices from $15,000 and £10,000. BMW 8 Series 19,891,999 Until recently the E31 8 Series was largely forgotten, but it's starting to get more coverage. That's partly down to BMW unveiling an 8-series concept recently suddenly the stylish 90s coupe is back in the limelight. Madly expensive when new, values have already started to climb but we reckon there's still a fair way to go. From $15,000 and £10,000. Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG W211, 20,072,009A naturally aspirated 507 horsepower V8 made the Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG one of the quickest executive sedans in the world, and a luxurious interior made it a delightful place to travel in. Buyers got a lot of car for the money, even at $92,000 $109,000 in 2017 money. Today, a W211 generation E63 sets you back roughly $15,000, and £15,000 in the UK. The biggest hurdle is finding one that's been properly maintained rather than refitted into a contender for Fast and Furious 17. Dodge Ram SRT 10 20,042,006 Dodge executives muttered anything you can do, we can do better when they saw Ford's F-150 Lightning. It took them a few years, but they shoehorned an 8.3-liter V10 taken from the Viper under the hood of a 1500 pickup truck. Transmission options included a 6-speed manual and a 4-speed automatic. Engineers made numerous suspension modifications to keep the 10-cylinders 500 horsepower output in check. The mechanical upgrades were accompanied by a model-specific body kit, including a spoiler which rendered the pickup box all but useless, and die-hard Viper fans could order racing stripes. Dodge euthanized the Viper earlier this year, so we're unlikely to see another V10-powered Ram anytime soon. $17,000 gets you a supercar-powered pickup certain to go up in value due to its uniqueness. UK prices start around £18,000. Chevrolet Corvette C5, 19,962,004 Every Chevrolet Corvette goes through a phase where it becomes the sports car for those who can't afford one. That's where the C5 generation vet stands right now. It's good news for enthusiasts on a tight budget because the C5 blends performance with daily drivability and a surprising amount of tech. Notably, it was offered with a head-up-to-display and variable-assist steering. Americans can drive home in a well-sorted Corvette C5 for under $20,000, which is about the price of an entry-level Volkswagen Golf. Prices could drop even more in the coming years, but sooner or later the C5 will fetch big bucks at big-name auctions. Never formally sold in Britain, UK prices for unofficial imports start around £13,000. 
Porsche 911996 Series, 19,972,005 with a new platform and a water-cooled flat 6. The 996 Series Porsche 911 marked a new beginning for the emblematic rear-engine sports car. Brand purists weren't on board they decried the styling and longed for the old air-cooled 6. The ugly duckling reputation still sticks with the 996 as it enters the collector car market, and the model's expensive appetite for IMS bearings doesn't help its popularity. Here's what naysayers forget it's still a 911. It's better to drive than many sports cars built in the same era, it simply puts a different spin on the original car's character. 996 values have hit rock bottom. Prices start in the $20,000 £10,000 range for a clean, rear-wheel drive example. Buy one before the self-proclaimed purists realize they can no longer afford an air-cooled model. Nissan Skyline GTR R32 19,891,994 The Skyline brand goes all the way back to 1955 but it wasn't until the GTR R32 of 1989 that things got serious. This was the first Megatech Skyline. The four-wheel drive system featured sensors galore that sampled 100 times each second. There was four-wheel steering and a twin-turbo 2.6-liter twin-cam straight-six rated at 276 bhp, but which can be tuned to give over 1,000 bhp. Most are modified but that's fine, if it's done well and tastefully. From $22,000 and £18,000. DeLorean DMC 12 19,811,982 It was a sales disaster, the build quality was dubious and it wasn't that great to drive. But sales volumes were low and the DeLorean's leading role in the Back to the Future franchise ensures it remains in the public eye and is perceived as desirable, and hype is all you need for values to just keep climbing just ask Bitcoin speculators. And at least with this you get to show it off and drive it. From $23,000 and £28,000. Lotus Esprit 19,872,001 Examples of the original Juduro designed Esprit have started to be collected, and values reflect that. The later Peter Stevens designed models haven't taken off in the same way yet, although values have started to harden. So if you've fancied an Esprit V8 for a while, or just one of the four cylinder versions, we'd suggest you buy soon, before they're out of reach. From $23,000 and £16,000. Lotus Elise S2 2001 on prices for the original Lotus Elan have climbed sharply, and the original Elise 19,962,001 has started to go the same way. But the second generation Elise HASNT proved a sought after, yet offering all of the qualities of the Series 1 but with greater usability thanks to a slightly bigger body shell, the later Elise will surely be a collector's item in years to come. From $27,000 and £12,000. Aston Martin DB7 19,932,003 It was the car that saved Aston Martin and with more than 7,000 built it's a car that's currently a lot more attainable than you might think. The most collectible will always be the run-out GT edition pictured with its 435 bhp V12 mated to a 6-speed manual gearbox. Lolio DB7 S are from $32,000 and £22,000. Dodge Viper SRT 10 20,032,006 The Dodge Viper returned for a third generation in 2003. Its styling evolved according to the design trends of the early 2000s, but it still looked like a member of the Viper family. It still sounded like one, too. The third generation Snake used an 8.3 liter V10 tuned to produce a minimum of 500 horsepower. Clean, lightly used third generation Vipers pop up all over America for about $35,000. The handful of privately imported into the UK sometimes trade hands in the £50,000 range. Its entry into the world of high profile, high dollar classic cars seems secure because Dodge ended Viper production once and for all earlier in 2017. Jensen Interceptor 19,661,976 A British built Grand Tourer with Italian styling and American V8 power sounds like a world beater, right? Yet the Interceptor has been worth peanuts for decades and only now are prices starting to increase. But they've still got a long way to go before the Jensen is correctly valued. Prices are from $40,000 and £50,000, which suggests that Interceptors in the US are especially good value, relatively.
Lancia Delta HF Integrale 19,871,994 Lancia won the World Rally Championship six years in a row thanks to the Integrale, so just like the Audi Quattro that predated it, classic and collectible status were guaranteed. The later Evo models are by far the most collectible but earlier editions are much more affordable. From $40,000 and £25,000. Citroen SM19, 1,701,975 OK, so this one is a bit of a wild card, but there are worse ways of spending money. Combine Citroen Hydro pneumatic suspension with a Maserati V6, way out styling and limited build numbers and you've got a surefire recipe for collectability. Decent ones from $40,000 and £40,000. Chevrolet SS 20,142,017 much more than a BMW M5 for boot-wearing Texans, BSS was Chevrolet's first V8-powered, rear-wheel drive sedan since the 1990s. It was an attempt at putting the extra production capacity at Holden's Australian factory to good use while giving American muscle car fans a four-door option. Holden built just under 13,000 examples of the SS, so finding a good one is going to get tough in a few years' time. Don't wait for a successor, either. It's likely Chevrolet's last rear-drive V8 saloon, at least in the foreseeable future, since Holden's factory has just closed. A lightly used one commands $45,000. It was never sold in the UK, though it's related to the Vauxhall VX R8 GTS, which cost from £50,000. Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat 2015 Driver Dodge Challenger in the US and people will stop jogging, mowing, driving, or eating to ask if it's a Hellcat. This 707 horsepower monster has already gone down in popular culture as one of the most extraordinary muscle cars ever built. It's a niche model by definition, and an excellent one at that, so expect it to become sought after in a couple of decades. Pricing for a lightly used example starts at $45,000, which makes it the performance bargain of the century, at least for the time being. Dodge Viper RT 10 19,921,995 The Viper left racing fans speechless when it broke cover during the 1991 Indianapolis 500 with Carroll Shelby behind the wheel. Presented as a modern-day Cobra, it received a 400-horsepower V10 engine designed by Lamborghini, which Chrysler owned at the time. It became the group's halo model, and the hero car of the American auto industry. The Viper made the Chevrolet Corvette look soft. Early Vipers currently trade hands for about $40,000. We predict prices will skyrocket when members of the generation that grew up with Viper posters on their bedroom wall set aside enough money to buy the cars they've always dreamed of. Extremely rare on British roads, prices start around £50,000 and are on the up. Cadillac CTS V Wagon 20,112,013 Cadillac CTS V Wagon existed in several dimensions. It was a wagon, it was a luxury car, it was a performance car and it was American. There aren't many other cars capable of ticking all those boxes. As it turns out, there weren't many buyers interested in the concept either. Production ended after Cadillac built only 1386 examples. A wagon with a V8 from a Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 sounds like a steal for $45,000. If you manage to find one, of course. Clean, unmodified examples have become prior from my cold, dead hands type cars from their proud owners. None at all in the UK as far as we can tell. Honda Acura NSX, 19,901,997 Now there's an all new NSX the original is being noticed a lot more. The world's first everyday supercar, the Honda's aluminium body shell guaranteed lightness, its high-revving V6 offered performance and the Honda badge represented absolute reliability. But sales were tiny now the NSX is becoming highly prized. Prices from $50,000 and £30,000. Reliance Scimitar GTE 19,681,975 The GTE will celebrate its 50th birthday next year. One of the most practical sporting classics ever made, the GTE features a Ford V6 either 3.0 litre or 2.8, tough plastic bodywork and it handles well, yet values have started to climb only recently, and even then, not by that much. None in the US, prices from £3,000 in the UK. Alpine GTA A610 19,841,995 Before Renault's Alpine closed down in 1995 it produced some cracking sports cars, but most have yet to start fetching serious money. 
While the A110 and A310 have become very collectible, the GTA and A610 that came later are still undervalued. With the brand set to return, next year will that lead to a rise in values hardly any to be found in the US, prices from £7,000 in the UK. TVR Griffith 19,912,002 with a new Griffith on the way it's sure to increase interest in the 1990s edition, which has already seen a steady rise in prices in recent years. Values are dictated by mileage, spec and condition and these cars are rarer than you might think, so be prepared to search to find a car worth keeping. Griffiths, like TVRs generally, are extremely rare in America, but are to be had from £17,000 in the UK. Fiat Coupe 19,932,000 We doubt that mint examples of the Fiat Coupe will ever be worth a fortune, but the chances are that they will go up from where they are now, bearing in mind that's on the floor. With a 155 miles per hour top speed the 20V Turbo Edition was the world's fastest front-wheel drive car when it was new, now you can buy one for buttons. Never officially sold in the US, a decent one can be had for £7,000 in the UK. MGR V8 19,931,995 with just under 2,000 examples built, a luxurious interior, classic MG looks and a Rover V8 under the bonnet, there's plenty to love about the RV8. When you consider that you can easily spend the same sort of money on a MG BV8 roadster conversion as on a RV8, it's easy to see why the latter should be more highly valued. None in the US, UK examples are to be had from £20,000. Ford Racing Puma 20 million 2001 Fast Ford prices have gone berserk in the UK in recent years but there is one that remains eminently affordable, the Ford Racing Puma. With just 500 made, by Tickford no less, exclusivity is guaranteed. It's not all that quick and the ride is rock hard, but it looks fabulous and it's a fast Ford, so surely it's a dead cert for an investment none in the US from £14,000 in the UK. Vauxhall VX220 20,000,005 built by Lotus on the same production line as the LEs. The VX220 is far rarer and in turbo form it's a complete animal with its 197 bhp four-cylinder engine. The ultimate is the run-out VXR220 but just 65 of those were made, so be prepared to wait for one of those. Values for all models are already on the up. Never sold in the US despite being from GM, yours from £9,000 in the UK. Close.